Well, hello. Um, today we're going to talk about materialism. What is it? Now, this word can be used in a couple of different ways. So it can mean that you love possessions like money and trying to make lots and lots of money. But that's not the way we're using it. We're using a, the philosophy of materialism. So we have a um, video, which I hope you've already seen, about the robot and am I a robot? And I hope that that will kind of give you an idea about materialism. Let's look at it. Okay, so the key is the scientists base their science on the philosophical worldview called materialism. And that's a definite statement. Now, there are scientists who are not materialists, but the grand majority of, the sci of scientists are 100% materialistic in their understanding of the universe, understanding of human beings, understanding of spirit, all of that. And so materialism, materialism is so important that it shapes Western culture and it even comes over here. Materialism is a theory or belief that nothing exists except matter and its movements and modifications. So movements and modifications, in other words, um, lights, this, and the gravity and the, the moving and, and developing and all of that stuff, all of those things that happen, but all of them are material, they're matter, physics, physical. And so there's only that in the universe. So materialists believe that these realities do not exist. Any kind of divine being, mind doesn't exist. Uh, by the way, this is a real important one because mind does exist. It's been demonstrated pretty conclusively that mind is a real thing and that you can't argue that humans are just like computers or like robots. But I just read an article yesterday, just yesterday, I read an article and the article work so hard to prove that humans are robots. No, we're not programmed, according to materialists, we're not programmed by an intelligent designer. We're programmed by random chance mutations, which are then naturally selected according to what is most beneficial for the improvement of um, the creature and so it's a random chance mutation thing rather than a computer programmer but we are just circuits our brains are just circuits that evolution through random chance mutations and then um, selection natural selection have brought us to this point where we think we have a mind but we don't now, the bizarre thing about this approach is, therefore, logic is not real and mathematics is not real because logic and mathematics are not material, very much so. Logic is not material at all. Logic is totally beyond materialism. You think two plus two is four. Um, you talk about the square root of seven. You do lots of mathematical formulation None of it is matter. It's all immaterial. Logic, the same thing. The using your logic is not, um, it's, it's not material. Um, it comes from random chance mutations that have been naturally selected over a period of millions of years so that human beings think that it's logic, but it's not logic. It has no connection to reality because the only reality is material atoms and molecules and their movements and modifications so mind doesn't exist spirit does not exist soul does not exist nobody obviously nobody has souls if the only thing that exists is matter then no one has a soul. Um, that's really a convenient philosophy if it's true, because then it means that you can do whatever you want in this life as long as you can get away with it because you don't have to answer for it. 
there's no heaven or hell. There's no God, obviously, to talk to. Miracles are not real. This is a really interesting, interesting one because there are miracles. There are definitely miracles. Like my wife and I watched a movie about a teenage boy who um, he and his two other friends were on a lake of water that was frozen ice, but it was too thin. They went through the ice and he was, um, he didn't breathe for, well, I don't know, a really long time, like half an hour. And through his prayer, through his prayers of his mother, really, um, he started a heartbeat after the longest period of time. And then miraculously, he is in complete recovery. In fact, he's studying to be a minister. Now, that's a miracle. But a materialist says no miracles are not possible because there can't be a miracle because the only thing that's real is matter and its movements and modifications. That's a real problem. Not, not really a great philosophy. Materialists believe that humans are things. And I can't emphasize this enough. Humans are things. Everything is a thing because the only reality is material. So humans are things so that there's no such reality as personhood. And, and this is really important because scientists are showing again and again, um, neurologists and people in that field are showing that there is a really, really, really strong built-in uh, self-identity that I am someone. And it's not simply something that we do because of evolution and because our brains are circuited that way. But they, they, sometimes a brain will have damage and they'll cut the brain in half and so that it stops the passage of information going back and forth. And a person still doesn't have two personalities. The person has one personality, even though their brain has been cut in half. And it's always I. There's an incredibly strong sense that I am someone. And of course, as far as God's concerned, that's true. Uh, but, but, but materialists believe that humans are the result of random chance mutations. Each human is not a someone, but a something. That's materialism. It's very hard. That's materialism. That's why abortions for materialists is no problem. The baby in the mother's womb is a thing, not a person. Um, my wife watched a, a movie about a woman who was a director of a plant, parenthood abortion clinic factory in the US. And for her, the baby in the mother's womb was just a part of the mother's flesh, just a part of her body. And that's the argument the, the mother's, they'll say that a mother's body is her own body and that what she does with her body is her own business. So she can commit an abortion and that's not a problem because the baby inside of her is just a thing. But honestly, honestly, for a materialist, every human being is just a thing. Because we were random chance mutation, not made in the image of God. We're not someone, we're something. Now, here's the thing that I, I want you to get. I think I, I, I have this really bad feeling that students in this course say it for exams and quizzes and stuff, but I don't think they understand it. <clears throat> Materialism is a philosophical belief. It's not a scientific belief. It's a, it's a philosophy thing. Philosophy is fine. That, that's a good thing. Philosophy is good. Science cannot demonstrate that no miracles exist. How can science do that? How can scientifically you prove that a miracle hasn't happened? I mean, that's ridiculous. There, like, like, for example, Jesus with the water that he turned into wine. How can you demonstrate the fact that that's, that that's a miracle or it's not a miracle? But a materialist will say it can't be a miracle. Why? Scientifically? How can you say that scientifically? Oh, because the only thing that exists in the universe is matter. Yeah, but that's, that's not a scientific observation. That's a philosophical observation. That's a philosophical belief. Yeah, so you can't scientifically prove that a person doesn't have a soul. How can you scientifically prove that? Well, you can't. 
scientifically prove that spirit doesn't exist. You can't even scientifically prove that demons don't exist. You can't prove that. Yeah, you can't prove that they do exist either. But if there's evidence, and there is evidence for these things, that's the crazy part of this. There's evidence. It's not like it's just, oh, well, this is something that's a religious belief, you know. No, 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 no. There's, there's, there's lots and lots of evidence. But see, science is a philosophical belief. So they don't start with the evidence. They start with the belief. And that's when you know that something's philosophical. When you start with the evidence and you say, what can we figure out based upon this evidence? Well, that's one thing. But remember, you've got six different scientists in a room. Show them the same evidence. And all six scientists working on their own are going to try to understand how that evidence all fits together. And if they are not bound to some belief that they already have, if they're not forcing themselves to go along with what they've always believed, but they're actually letting the evidence speak for itself, they may come up with different theories. Why? Well, because the same evidence is there, but people are looking at it differently. And, and some of them may be right. Some of them, all of them may be partially right. So, but a materialist looks at the evidence and says, well, miracles don't exist. Spirit doesn't exist. So before the, the, the materialist even makes any scientific theories, they've already ruled out and said, no, well, it can't be spirit. No, no, no. It can't be soul. No, no, no. There can't be a mind. No, no, no. Uh, there can't be anything that is not material. And by doing that, by just ruling everything else out, then everything they look at is always going to be materialistic because they've said you can't use anything that is not materialistic as your evidence because material is the only thing that exists. See, so that, that becomes a big problem. It's a terrible problem. Oh, my word. And, of course, scientists, science can't demonstrate that God doesn't exist. Those are two completely different spheres. They, they, they don't work. They, they, they don't cross each other. Science cannot demonstrate that God doesn't exist. Uh, but I will say that if you, if you have evidence that suggests that God does exist, that should be considered. Uh, like for example, we have prophecies, as astonishing prophecies. We've already looked at a couple of them, just a few we've looked at. But we have astonishing prophecies about the coming of Jesus Christ. Now, that's evidence. That's, that's evidence that God does exist because these prophecies are impossible to happen unless somebody intervened. But a materialist would say, no, they can't demonstrate that God exists because God doesn't exist, because only matter exists, and God is not matter. And therefore, it doesn't exist. God's just an illusion in your brain. That's what a materialist would say. Because, why? Because the only thing that exists is material. Ah, materialists start with the decision. That's how you know it's a philosophy. It's they start with a decision that none of these things exist and then base all of their scientific work upon that decision. Uh, we all do that all the time. We all do that in all kinds of different areas. The danger with materialism is that materialism is clearly wrong in their claim that there is no God, that there are no miracles, that there is no spirit or soul. They're clearly wrong. But it doesn't stop them because they made that decision first. They started with the decision, philosophically, that material is all that exists. Scientists, they may be brilliant scientists, but that doesn't mean they're good philosophers. But if you start with the assumption that only matter exists, if that's where you start, well, you're dealing with philosophy. And if you're dealing with a philosophical belief, because you, before you do any scientific observation, any scientific experimentation, any scientific theorizing, you start by saying only matter exists. Therefore, if there's anything that's not matter, it's not real. Well, if you start with that, that's philosophical. And if that's philosophical, you'd better be a good philosopher because your philosophy of materialism is forcing you what evidence you will accept and what evidence you won't accept, you know, because if you say, 
well, I don't believe that there's anything in the universe except for matter. And then you see lots of evidence that demonstrates that there is something besides matter. You won't accept any of that evidence. You'll reinterpret all of that evidence because of your philosophy. But just because they're brilliant scientists doesn't mean they're good philosophers. In fact, generally they're not. There's no evidence that God does not exist, that my spirit doesn't exist, that the evidence isn't there. Materialists believe this by faith. That's something they believe. It's not something they know, it's something they believe. Materialists refuse to consider any evidence that God or spirit or mind, etc., do exist. They refuse to consider the evidence. Literally refuse to consider the evidence. In fact, if you include God as a part of your discussion of any scientific topic, it's not scientific because you're not allowed to include God or spirit or mind in your scientific discussions because the only thing that exists as far as materialists is concerned is matter and God's spirit mind don't exist. See, they believe it by faith. And it's important that we recognize the fact that it, it, it's a philosophical decision, but it's not philosophical in a really good philosophical way. It's not like it's logically arrived upon. The reason why it's not logically arrived upon is because logic isn't material. You, you can't use logic if you're a materialist. They do all the time, but they can't because logic is dealing with something that's not material. It's, it's, it's totally not material. It's saying, if this is true and this is true, and based on this being true and this being true, then this is true. But if this is true and this is false, then based upon this and this, then this will also be false. And there's no matter there. That's not matter. That's all in the mind. And a materialist, materialist will say, it isn't real, that logic isn't real, that logic is just the way your brain has been circuited, the circuits are in your brain. They're that way because, why? Because there were random chance mutations that were naturally selected by evolution. And because of that, your brain is wired that way, like the robot cartoon. Your brain is wired that way, Everything is there. The programmer, the programmer is evolution. And it's like, it's not real. So a materialist believes all this stuff by faith. And it's pretty bizarre. It's pretty bizarre because it's not even rational faith. They believe by faith that matter is the only thing that exists. But there's so much evidence that God does exist. Materialists reject this. Materialists reject this by faith. Therefore, materialists are being irrational. They're totally irrational when they reject the possibility of evidence proving that God does exist. It's totally irrational. It makes no sense at all. It should be totally on the table. Walk outside and look at a sunset and tell me that, that, that there isn't at least a possibility that beauty is real, right? That God is real. Well, of, course, of course the possibility is there. Okay, so after saying all of this, which is, this is crazy, it's, it's crazy, but Western universities, universities in Europe, especially the US, but also Europe, generally require their professors to be materialists. I mean, you're not gonna get a position at an un American university if you say, no, um, part of the evidence that needs to be used in science is also spirit and mind and God. No, that doesn't work. You cannot get a job. And if you, you have a job, you can't keep it. If you're a materialist, if a professor in a university, especially in the sciences, rejects materialism, that, present, that professor will generally lose his or her position. Happens all the time in the US, all the time in the US, all the time in the US. Somebody, it'll come out, somebody who's teaching in the position, assistant professor, some university, Michigan State University, or someplace like that. And it turns out this person believes. In miracles. And this person believes that it's possible that evolution may not be true. Well, guaranteed, guaranteed, you lose your job. Guaranteed. Because materialists 
cannot allow the concept of God or spirit or mind into science. They can't do it. I, I mean, I've experienced this and it's crazy. Scientific journals will not publish articles by authors who reject materialism. Uh, it's a couple of years ago, somebody pu published a, an article in a prestigious journal and the article was demonstrating um, something about evolution and demonstrating the fact that evolution is not possible based upon um, some very strong evidence. And it was published in the journal, which was amazing. Then people complained about it and it was removed. It's called retracted. The article was retracted by the journal. And the journal said, well, um, you know, it's not really science because science can only be materialistic. Oh my gosh, that's crazy, but it's true. Universally, people who reject materialism are described as ignorant and even dangerous. That's a fact. Many Christian professors accept materialism, although they also believe in Jesus Christ as God's son. I mean, they can completely surrender to Jesus Christ and servants of Jesus Christ and loving Jesus Christ and know Jesus and spend eternity with him. But I can promise you there are loads and loads and loads of Christian professors who accept materialism and accept the, 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 the commands of materialistic worldview, which says you cannot put God into science. They don't mix, which doesn't make any sense. But what are you going to do? That's just, the, that's just the reality. The heart of the materialism, observable events must be explained solely by natural causes, not by miracles, not by spirit, not by mind, not by God, that can be examined using the scientific method. Now, since the scientific method is unable to judge or measure spirit, but since there are, for example, demons in the world, isn't it? kind of weird that a person could be demon possessed and not be a psychological problem at all it would be demon possession and you could have you could have five different scientists who evaluate that person and they're not allowed to use demons or spirits as a part of their evaluation they're not allowed to because materialism will not allow any cause that is not material so, so here we go all right we, we say somebody is demon possessed and, and scientists are you know they're all invest, investigating this person and if they're not allowed to to think about demons or talk about demons or to use demons in their theories they're going to be five people observing this person who's demon possessed and they're going to be five theories about what's wrong with this person and all five are absolutely definitely going to be wrong and they can use all of their instrumentation and testing and all of that stuff but they're all going to be wrong because there are spirits in the world and sometimes people are demon possessed and sometimes when people are demon possessed they do things that are not possible in the natural world and so science doesn't work well because science does not accept any evidence which is non-material which is crazy but it's true you live in a materialistic world. Now, when I say that you live in a materialistic world, I don't mean that the world is made only of matter. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is you live in a world where scientists of all kinds of different scientists, all kinds, and lots and lots and lots of other academic disciplines, they are all saying that the only thing that exists is material. And therefore, what that means is because you're surrounded by this, a lot of the scientific conclusions that are coming out of in these articles and books that you read for your classes, a lot of those conclusions are materialistic. But if we have things in the reality of life that are spirit, that are God, that are miracles, that have soul, that are mind, and if those are real, if there is such a thing as love, if there's such a thing as honor, there's such a, a reality is true, if logic is possible and it's real, if mathematics is real, if those things really exist and they are not matter, materialism is wrong. 
And so therefore, we're living in this really kind of crazy world. It's a world where you're not allowed to think in terms of mind, spirit, but they're real. And so, even at the end of this lecture, even at the end of this lecture, I guarantee you, I guarantee you that when you do the project, a lot of you are going to get it wrong. And the reason you're going to get it wrong is because you have been fooled into thinking that materialism is true. You go to church every week, you pray to Jesus every week, you ask God to do miracles. Um, you know that Jesus rose from the dead, you know Jesus is the Son of God, you know that God exists and rules over the universe, but you're not thinking that it's possible that materialism is false and does not belong in science because we've been told that all of our lives and all of our classes teach that and all of our textbooks teach that. But the trick is, if materialism is not right, then you can't make scientific conclusions without investigating evidence that is of a non-material nature. So I would encourage you to really think about this. It's, I know it's kind of philosophical. Um, and I've given you extra helps as far as materialism so that you can understand what it is. Watch the robot video maybe a couple of times. And just ask yourself if you're really getting it. If you're not getting it, write to me, okay? Because I want to make sure you understand this thing about materialism. It's a really, 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 really big deal. Okay. Have a great day.